still got my space Count out, count up, still got my space Count out, it's gonna be Hi you guys, it's Shalani E. Lori and thank you for watching my channel and clicking on this video Anyway, so um, today I'm basically coming to you with the Motivational Monday. I'm going to do these every Monday. I'm going to try to be consistent. I'm going to try to stick to it and do this every Monday. So anyway, so I've been up since like 5. I get up every morning around probably like 5, 6 o'clock. I normally go to the gym by 6.30 to 7. I stay in there for like an hour. It just depends on what I'm doing. But anyway, so I didn't go to the gym this morning. I pretty much just worked out in my room because I was, like, trying to send out emails and trying to get stuff done that hadn't been done the day before. So I was like, I can't add gym time today. I'm just working out in my room. So anyway, um, so yeah, so basically in the mornings, like, I don't listen to any rap, like, music or anything like that because it's just, like, very... Like, I feel like this stuff is po it's very poisonous. Like, you have to be cautious of what you feed yourself and what you feed your mind and your brain. Like, all of that. Because that's the energy vibes that you, you know, carry on throughout the day and so on. So, every morning I listen to Eric Thomas' podcast. And I'm going to leave the link below so you guys can go listen to it. You can listen to it on iTunes. You can listen to it on SoundCloud. And you can also um, listen to it on YouTube. So, I'm going to leave his links below because that's what I listen to every single morning. Like, if I'm not listening to his motivational speak speakings, I'm listening to his podcast. So, I just, like, he's, I mean, I would say he's mainstream, but, like, I, I like Eric Thomas like I he he's very good at like getting the point across and straight straight to you he's very good at speaking like and he delivers well like anything like he says he he backs it up and he has a point behind it he has an experience to back it up so that's what I like about him and I like that his voice like is very trans he's very he's a transparent person like he doesn't sugarcoat anything he tells you like straight up like this is this and this is that so yeah so i'm gonna leave the links below i'm not gonna babble on too much about that but today in the podcast he said um protect what you hear protect what you see and protect what goes into your mind so i was like wow like it just meant a lot to me that he said that because like i said like i just said um i don't listen to i try not to listen to you know too much rap music too much hip-hop too much you know derogatory stuff in the morning because you want to wake up listening to positive things you want to motivate yourself to get through the day you want to think about everything that you you know like your goals your what's going on in your life right now you want to kind of take the time in the morning to reflect you don't want to start off thinking like singing rap i mean and sometimes that's okay but it just depends on what kind of person you are and what your goals are and far as me like i have a lot of stuff to do every day so i try to keep a positive mind so yeah so that really stuck with me protect what you hear protect what you see protect what goes into your mind like that's just ultimate for me and i'm gonna tweet that out later i should have tweeted it then but i was in the office working um because the podcast is like an hour and 30 minutes long so um i like listen to it when i'm getting ready and then like i'll finish listening to it in the office because i'm in the office by myself when i'm doing my internship well where i do my internship at, i'm pretty much there in the morning by myself until like 11 12 so while i'm working i just you know finish listening to the podcast and it's so quiet so i need like some type of voice or whatever you know anyway um so then another thing was um basically like i've been doing my internship um my internship has been going really well it's it's stressful like it's stressful but i have to remind myself like this is what i pray for this is what i ask god to bless me with so i can't complain because it's what i ask for so at the end of the day i'm thankful like and sometimes i get emotional i'm like wow like what i pray for is happening and i see like so much stuff manifesting in my life that i pray for three six months to a year ago and things are just like revealing and opening opening up to me so um, i'm thankful for the most part and with school school is just school like it's stressful but i'm finding different things to get engaged with in school 
to like keep me pushing and keep me going forward with school. I graduate next May. That's the plan. I have to pass my summer classes and if everything goes um, on track with summer classes, then I mean, I'm pretty much in the go for graduating next May and I'm so excited. Like I have so many plans. So most importantly, um, it's important to have a planner. Like this is my planner. I keep Hey, I've, I've been through like four planners, honestly. Like, I bought one and I was like, I don't like this planner. So, I got another planner and then my boss gave me a planner. So, and my aunt was supposed to give me another planner. But anyway, I never finish out a planner. I'm probably going to buy another one just because, like, I may see another planner that I like. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this. But anyway, so I take these clips right here. You can get these for like, okay five dollars but anyway i take it and i clip it so in the morning or whenever i need to see i could just see like the month and the date that i was last on and i could just open it and it's boom it's there so excuse me i pretty much just do that um so yeah like my planner is always with me like i put it in my purse like if i'm going out like i put it in my car like i have to have my planner because this is the key like you have to write everything down like it's so important important to write everything down because honestly like i have so much going on through my day and in my mind like it's impossible like i just realized today was a due date for something that i have for my group and like nobody has even texted me or anything so i'm just like okay like but anyway, but I mean, I remember it because I wrote it down. So it's really important to write stuff down. I try to use my whiteboard um, calendar, but I wrote the dates and it says March over there. So I just normally, over, I just write like quotes and stuff on there and like important things that I need to do. But I don't really write on the actual date. But um, I write in my phone. I write in this planner. And I kind of like text myself if it's something important that I need to do. I know I like scroll through my text messages to see who I need to reply to. So I just text myself like if it's something like really, really urgent that way that that way I remember it. Or I'll tell my boyfriend like remind me to do, you know, such and such. But anyway, so um, this it's important to have a planner like this. I can't express how much how important it is and my little sister i actually gave her i went to her school and i gave her twenty dollars and i was like what did you do with your money and she was like oh well i wanted i was trying to find a planner so i think i'm gonna find her a planner because i don't think she ever got one but i like that she is getting she's in the seventh grade so i like that she's getting in the 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 swing of like you need a planner like you have to remind yourself so that's you know i'm like okay she's i'm rubbing off on her but anyway so yeah basically in my quotes down every day i try to look at things that motivate me like what's my end goal i try to find inspiration and little things when i get discouraged through the day and just like okay let's take a step back and just think breathe count one to ten and just release because at the end of the day like we all have an end goal and it's very important to make sure that you're staying on track with everything that you're doing writing it down and go back and look at it read it again like just keep reminding yourself that you have an end goal and another thing is i wanted to say also like instagram and social media like it's really hard for me because like past like the past two weeks like i always get on instagram comparing myself like well, I don't, you know, this is this, this is this person does, this, this person does that. And that's mainly where I feel like I get sidetracked at is like watching other people. And that's one thing you cannot do. Like it's, it's really bad. I'm not going to say it's bad, but when you look at these other people, like don't compare yourself. Look to look like, okay, I like what she's doing. That's nice. Okay. That inspires me. But don't look at it in a way as if, you know, you're comparing yourself because honestly, I get like that all the time like I'm just looking and I'm like comparing myself comparing what I do comparing you can't compare your success your success to another person's success or where they are in life and where you are in life because I mean age wise makes a difference and how much work you put in like you have to put the work in order to get work out like it's 
to get, you know, results back, good results, you have to put the work in. So I can't, you know, compare myself to somebody who's doing well off. They, not to say I'm not doing well off, but I'm just saying, like, you can't, you can't compare yourself to somebody who put 100% in and you only put 50 in. Like, that's just how it goes. I feel like you get in, um, you get back what you put in. Like, you have to put in, you got to go in. So, anyway so that's pretty much all i have for you guys because i will go on and on but anyway i'm trying i'm trying to keep it short and simple to like 10 minutes so yeah so um every monday i'm gonna be posting my motivational mondays and like i said i'm going to leave the link below for eric thomas um podcast and his youtube channel all that good stuff and again thank you for watching my channel <laughs> Got up some kind of space.